Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 4 of your computer programming tutorials, or your total programming tutorials. Um, today we're going to be looking at user input, which can lead to stuff like, uh, what can it lead to? It can lead to loads of stuff, so you can input something to, you know, open a door, uh, like, a, like um, a password protected door or something, we'll end up doing that this episode I think, uh, and stuff like that, so we'll just get into the basics of it first. Uh, what I do want to make though is one of these advanced computers, because they do look, when you're actually typing on them, a lot nicer, so I just thought I'd show you the recipe, this is what it looks like. I have a lot of them because I pressed the wrong button. Um, so once we have this advanced computer, you know we can. This is the old tutorial. Um, let's let's turn it on. I want to. There we go. See how efficient it is during the tutorial. Um, if we place it, you'll see it's golden and it's all fancy. And if we open it up, um, you'll see that you know it, the outside's gold and, and stuff like that. Can I? And someone told me to make it to make the the GUI scale bigger. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> so. What we can do is we can, if we edit something, um, so edit, uh, we're going to call this script input, so we're going to edit a script called input. We're now in, you know, the input script, and what we want to do is we want to get the input from the p from the person typing it in. So if we if we print out, um, if we print uh, whatever in here, so we're going to print uh, enter your name. And you see it comes up in red, so we know that that is like the string that's going to be outputted. So I think that's quite nice as well. And then we can say uh, input. So we're going to make a, a variable called input, and that is equal to read, and then just close close brackets. So they're going to type something in, press enter, and that's what it's going to be equal to. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, input is equal to whatever they type in now, and it won't do anything else until they've actually pressed enter and typed that all in. And then we're going to say we're going to print out. Uh, actually, I don't. Your name is, and then we have to concatenate, uh, which is a new word. And actually, we don't need these brackets out here. Um, I just thought I'd tell you. Uh, you only need brackets really if we are using. <coughs> sorry, if we're using variables in it. So in here, we do need brackets because we're going to use uh, our input variable. And we're actually going to change the input's name. We're going to change it to uh, name, so we can you know read it clearer. So name equals whatever they type in. So your name is, and then we need to concatenate name with this string. And what concatenation is, is if you've ever uh, done Java, um, this is how you do it in Java. Uh, you say, and then you say plus, and then you say whatever's in here, so stuff in here. Um, and that's how you do that. And it adds the two things together. Uh, but in the, in uh, Lua, what you do is you type a dot, and then, you know, name. So it's, and then if we had to want to add some more stuff, like if we had, <coughs> if we want to add a capital letter, we could do a dot and then. <coughs> oh, sorry. Oh, my throat. Uh, we add a dot and then just the next thing we want to add. So if we actually save this now and if we run the input script, it's going to say that I haven't put something in. Edit uh, input line 3, 2, 3. Um, print, 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 print. print. Um, so, oh, okay, so it's, instead of just one dot, I, I just put one dot, so it's, uh, we put dot dot, so it's dot dot, and then the thing, so, if we save and exit now, and if we type input, it will say, enter your name, my name is Ben, and it'll say, your name is Ben, <laughs> and that's what I wanted to know, so if we actually run this again, and say, we say it wrong, we say, like, Ben, ah, and it'll, obviously, it'll, it'll say that, and then if we run it again, if we're in the middle of it, we're like, oh, I want to terminate it, but I can't, I can't now do edit, uh, like input because if I do that then it will just say my name is edit input so I'm gonna hit control T and hold them and it'll terminate it and that's in nice red there so let's clear by doing slash clear like that and the reason I'm using this computer for this tutorial is because the turtle's gonna be awkward um, we don't really want the turtle to you know but why would you use a turtle at the moment Oh, and other people were saying about like why did you use the obsidian pipe and the reason I use the obsidian pipe um, if I wanted to just turn the turtle around and drop it into there, then I would have done that. Uh, but what if we wanted there to be lots of turtles, like an array of cobblestone generator turtles here, and we wanted them all feeding into this a pipe behind them, which then went into a big pipe, which then went out to one chest. You, you wouldn't be able to do that with just like the chest behind it. So that's the reason I did that. I know, I know you could have just turned the turtle around and you know placed the chest, but yeah, we didn't. So that's the reason why. Uh, anyway, back to this thing uh, with the with the door. Oh, no, with the door. Now we're doing the door. Um, what we need to do now is get a uh, an iron door, or uh, I don't know any any door you know you want to be locked. So you can have a reinforced door, arcane door, 
um, let's get in a reinforced door, and we're going to put it to this side, you know, so we can't we can't open this door um, like this. So this is a, a reinforced door, and people are going to be like, oh no, this guy, this guy knows what he's doing. He's got a reinforced door. Um, but what they don't know is that I can't I can't change back uh, cheat mode. So I'm now I'm trying to break through this door, and you know I can't I can't break through the door. Um, but if we get if we, I, I actually I don't know if redstone works in this door. <laughs> I I haven't really tested uh, with the reinforced door. Um, with, oh damn it! Got break. Okay, so it does work. Okay, that's good. Um, so what we want to do is we want to make it so they have to put in a password. Uh, you know, when they load the computer, it says enter your password, and then they put in their password and they, it opens the door for them. Um, so the way we do this is what we do is we're gonna make uh, we're gonna edit our startup script. So if we actually type uh, dir and then if we uh, change to rom and then we dir and then you'll see we have this startup script. So startup uh, like that. It, it does nothing. Like edit startup. Um, well, it does do stuff. Like if we see if you see here, we have all this this stuff here and it's it's you know setting up the uh, setting up the turtle. But it's nothing that we really care about, and that's just in the ROM. So that's when the computer, you know, loads up. And then as soon as um as soon as the the computer's loaded up, it's gonna run a startup script that's actually you know in this root directory. So if we um edit uh, startup, <coughs> it's gonna bring us to this blank little scripting area where we're gonna script what happens when the computer first starts up. And in this first startup area, what we wanna say. Is we want to uh, get the input from the from the person, but first we want to say uh, we want to print out, um, enter your uh, enter your password. Now we could have an array of you know passwords, and that'd be quite cool. I think we had an array of passwords, and they were all linked to certain people, and then the people they would say like welcome this person because it's their password and they know what password it is, and then it would log somewhere. And I mean this is getting advanced. For now, we're just going to do it so there's one singular password. Next episode, we might do it so there's more passwords that we can add. And why is this flashing? Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, uh, so for now, we're just going to make it one password. So we're going to say um, password is equal to uh, Ben is better than, no this is too long, um, the password is going to be Ben, it's just going to be Ben, okay, lowercase b, and they're going to they're gonna enter the password, and now we want to say is we want to uh, actually get them to enter the password, so we're going to say uh, p password, so player password is equal to read, like we did before, so we're going to read, and you know if we type this in it would just type in as like normal characters, so if another person was spying on the person typing the uh, the password in, they'd know exactly what it was, and we don't want that. So we want to put little uh, an asterisk in here in uh, quotation marks, so that the um, the other person can't read it. Um, and all this does is it replaces what they're writing with an asterisk, but it saves what they're actually writing into the thing. So it knows what they're writing, but it it displays it as an asterisk. So now what we want to do is we want to say if password or if if p password. So if the player's password that they've entered. Uh, is equal so double equal sign equal to the password. Uh, then what we want to do is we want to end it down here as well, and we want to. I just take control. Oh, damn it. Uh, save. Okay. Uh, what we want to do is we want to say we want to print out uh, correct like this, uh, and then we want to send out a redstone signal to the wherever side the door is. So we say rs dot output to the, um, I think, is this the, less, the left of the computer that, that it is at the moment? It could be right, uh, I'm not sure, actually let's, I think it's right, because if we're looking at it, um, right, right, if we're looking at it here, it, it's to the right, I'm not sure if it does it like this way, or if it does it this way, um, I normally just sort of change it afterwards, uh, but then that's going to do that, and then we want to, um, uh, yeah, so we want to then sleep, uh, which which means we're going to we're going to sleep for two seconds. So the computer is not going to do anything for two seconds like that. And then we want to say RSO redstone dot. Um, oh no, sorry, so so it, it it's set output. So set output, and it's going to be on the right. And we're going to say um, false. So and if we change this one here to set output, uh, so set output. Uh, right to true. So what it's doing is uh, here it's saying it's setting the output 
to uh, on the right side to true so it is setting the out the redstone signal uh, on and then down here it's turning it off so the door will close after two seconds uh, now we're saying if that password is that password but what if it's not that password uh, what we want to do is we want to say else so if the password isn't the password um, so bring that back down and then bring this up so we're gonna you know embed it nice and properly uh, we're gonna say we're gonna print out uh, incorrect like that so it's incorrect and then we just want to clear the screen so what we do now is we say um, I think it's uh, I forget things I think it's term dot uh, clear I'm not sure I will actually check this um, let me find the piece of paper that I have um, yeah yeah it is it is so it's term dot clear and then the, the brackets um, and if, anyone's, if I have people as well like, oh, why do you have pieces of paper with stuff on it? I'm like, it's to make sure I do things better. Um, so turn that clear, and that's going to clear the screen. And then we want to, uh, you know, go back up to the top. So we want to say whilst true, do. And obviously, so this is going to keep on looping around, uh, and then end here. Um, we also then here want to. Uh, do term dot clear because obviously it's then going to go back up to the top again. So we want to clear the screen um, like that. Cool. So if we save this and exit, and if we actually just type reboot, so oh, that types reboot reboot. So if I do that, it's going to say goodbye. It's going to close. It's going to turn back on, and it's going to say enter your password. And I'm going to enter my password as being uh, Ben with two ends. And trust me, I didn't do it with two ends. And it says. Enter your password. Oh, I didn't. I didn't sleep. Um, <laughs> uh, so enter your password. Uh, if I, there's a few things I need to change over here, and if I type Ben, it's gonna say correct. It's gonna open the door for two seconds. It's gonna close, and it's gonna go down, and it's gonna keep on going down. And if we just terminate this by holding Control and T, oh, hit my mic. Uh, <laughs> edit input. Um, oh, what do we save it as? Dir. Oh, startup. Um, <laughs> foolish me. Um, what we want to do is we want to say term dot set cursor pos so set the cursor position as being like two one or something so it can be the same every time uh, so if we reboot I can't type today I just got home uh, from school it's gonna close and it's gonna say enter your password uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's a C there from uh, yeah I, I turn it again uh, edit start start up uh, it's not two one it's gonna be one one I thought I was going to be clever by embedding it a little bit, but you know, there's the, the shell. Um, I guess I'm beeping. Oh, no, anyway, so uh, start. If we can just type start up, uh, enter your password. My password is Ben with two N. Is going to say nope. Uh, ben with one N is correct. I can walk through. Door will close behind me. Um, the reason that um, that that incorrect thing isn't isn't showing up is because we're clearing straight after we're printing it. Think about how quickly we're printing it, um, and then you know you'll you'll have an idea. Uh, think about how fast this runs. Sorry, uh, that that was what I was meant to say. So anyway, uh, what we want to do again is we want to say sleep for like whatever lockout second we're gonna have. Uh, so we can actually make it so it locks it at you out uh, longer as you do it. So we're gonna make an uh, I or we're gonna say lockout. Uh, this is gonna be equal to two. Uh, so we're going to lock them out for two seconds first, and for every time they get it wrong, we're going to, you know, change two. So, uh, lock out, um, you know, equals lock out uh, times two, like that. So it's going to multiply by two uh, every time we do it. Uh, and actually, we want to move this down. Uh, and then we don't sleep lockout, so it's gonna so that that lockout integer variable is two, and every time it's incorrect, uh, we're gonna change the lockout to be uh, whatever the lockout was multiplied by two, and if they get it right, we're just gonna reset lockout uh, is equal to true no is equal to two, and the problem you're probably seeing here is like oh well whenever this gets run it's gonna be set to two, uh, and we want to only do this um, you know on the first time, so whenever this first gets run. Um, and the way we do this <coughs> is if we make um, actually no no we should make lockout equals two above the whilst true do so before the infinite loop starts happening we're going to make that lockout variable so it doesn't keep on getting you know re reset every time so if we start up now 
my password is Ben, so it's going to lock me up for two seconds. <coughs> now, <coughs> oh god, oh, it's oh okay. <laughs> if I do it wrong again, it's going to one, two, three, four. Locks me up for even longer. You see? I'm not going to do it again because it would obviously you know take longer. Actually, I'm going to do it again. So it's going to take eight seconds this time because it was four, and now it's eight seconds. It's going to take me to a. Uh, to re-log back in because you know we want security here people get bored now if I type the actual password it's gonna say correct I'm gonna go through and if I now type the wrong password it's only gonna say incorrect for two seconds so that is why that works thanks for watching guys turtle has collected a fair bit of a uh, cobblestone <laughs> uh, next episode we're gonna be looking at arrays of passwords which I, th I came up with that idea during this tutorial uh, so yeah Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.